Welcome to the 2017 Fordham Baseball Preview. We're here with head coach Kevin Layton. Kevin, 29 and 29 a season ago, made the A-10 tournament. This season picked sixth in the preseason poll by the A-10 coaches. What are you looking forward to most about this season? Yeah, you know, just getting going. I mean, uh, it's tough being, uh, you know, inside and, uh, you know, being uh, stuck here in the Northeast a little bit. So um, it's a long year as far as the fall and, uh you know, winter, you know, have being on break and the guys coming back now. And uh, I know they're just uh, pumped to get outside, start playing uh, somebody other than ourselves. I mean, it's going to be exciting to see a uh, different uniform uh, out there. So you return a, a lot of players from last year, including uh, all conference player Mark Donatio, Matt Kozik, Luke Stanfield, a lot of se- a lot of seniors in the starting lineup. What have you seen so far from them as being those team leaders that, that you need on a daily basis? Yeah, those guys have stepped up a lot this year. I mean, I've noticed them be uh, being a lot more vocal this year uh, on the field, which is is what we need. You know, we lost um, uh, Joey Runco and Joe DeVito and, uh, you know, some guys that have played a number of games, um, Ian Edmiston, uh, Ryan McNally, guys that were consistent position player starters. Um, and it's tough when you lose those guys and, and uh, the presence that they have during the game. Uh, but it's been nice that we, we have some guys that have stepped up this year and, and uh, again, guys that have played a lot. Uh, so, um, you know, I think they're going to be uh, very capable and uh, ready to take on the uh, challenges of the season. Two players I'm looking forward to seeing this year, Justin Bardwell, Reese Kinnear, going into year number two here. What have you seen from them so far in their development? Both were all rookie team selections last year. What do they look like so far this year? Both look uh, very good. I mean, they're both uh, exciting players for us. Um, you know, Reese, uh, potential two-way talent. Um, you know, on the mound, he's, uh, I think, very talented. Um, he's shown a lot this fall positionally as far as a hitter and, um, you know, what he can bring to, uh, to our offense. Um, Justin is a solid player, does a lot of the uh, little things right. Um, he's one of those guys that uh, may not jump at you, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, he's a guy that you need uh, defensively. Uh, I thought offensively he he played uh, above our expectations last year, and uh, you know he's progressed the, this fall and, and this winter um, has looked very good. And uh, you know I can't wait to see these guys get after it uh, Friday. As always, pitching always one of the biggest keys to any baseball season. Jimmy Murphy is back for that fifth year. You also got a couple other guys in the rotation that. Again, coming back from injury and stuff like that, what have you seen out of the pitching staff so far uh, that has you excited about getting on the field this weekend? Well, you know, I think our pitching staff uh, is young, and that's exciting. I think we have a lot of talent. Um, there are going to be a lot of new guys, um, especially we have a few uh, guys that you know may not be ready for the uh, start of the season. But um, uh, I think uh, with Jimmy Murphy and, and uh, some of the young guys that we have, um, uh, some of the guys that may not have had a ton of experience uh, leading into the year uh, have shown very well. And, um, I, again, I'm very excited for those guys. I think Jimmy's taken a, a step, uh, another notch up. Um, as good as he's been for us over his career and, and whatnot, uh, he's looked even better this year. So uh, I'm excited to see him on the mound. So, yeah, Last question for you. There are 13 newcomers on this team. Uh, two, two guys that I know you've talked to me a lot about, Alvin Melendez, Matt Tarabek, kind of n- not exactly taking over those senior infield spots that you lost last year, uh, but are going to going to see some time er- er- early on. You know, t- talk a little bit about those two players. Both are exciting players. Um, you know, Alvin, he kind of brings uh, a lot to the table. He can run. He's got a good arm. He, you may see him on the mound. Um, you know, he can play the outfield, he can play the infield potentially. Um, he could do a lot of things for us. And, um, you know, when I think of a guy that we lost in Joey Runco, Alvin is a similar player. He's a speed guy. Um, I think he's going to have a uh, strong offensive year. Um, uh, so uh, hopefully a guy that can slide into um, what we lost in Runco. But, um, and Tarabek has, has shown a lot. I mean, offensively, he's been very good. I, he was one of our top hitters in the fall and for a freshman to do that is exciting um, and he's played a solid shortstop so uh, he's a big physical kid um, has some some solid tools and I think offensively is, is again going to um, 
produce for us. So that's always nice when you have some young guys uh, producing the lineup, and I'm hoping these guys do it. All right, well, best of luck this season, Coach, and we'll see you throughout the year. Thanks, Scott. We'll be right back with our player reviews with senior captain Pat Gardner and graduate student captain Jimmy Murphy. Now here with graduate student pitcher Jimmy Murphy. Jimmy, uh, team captain this year. What does it mean to be a team captain of this team uh, going into 2017? Well, it's exciting. Um, we're really exciting for this, excited for the season. Um, you know, we got a lot of young guys this year, so we're just looking to lead by example and kind of walk them through what the first weekend is like. Uh, but we're excited to get going. Now, I, I know for yourself the golden locks are gone, okay, but you, you've seen time both as a starting pitcher and a relief pitcher. How important is that type of experience? You have a very young pitching staff this year to be able to go to a guy who maybe is in their first start or is in their first relief appearance and be able to kind of mentor them through both of those roles here in your final season. I think it's big. I think uh, one of the hardest things for young guys is kind of finding your routine um, in terms of what you're doing to prepare for going in the game. Um, so to have guys like myself and some of the other upperclassmen on the staff, it helps them kind of guide them through what they need to do to get ready mentally and physically. It's a very young pitching staff, but it is deep. You got some guys coming back from injuries, uh, David Wright coming back, Alex Laddick coming back. You know, you got a, a bunch of different guys, but also some of those youthful arms. What does that do to energize a pitching staff, having all those fresh young arms or arms that are coming off injuries that they're they're wanting to get out there and get on that mound? Well, they're fired up to get back. You know, they work um, a lot of months trying to get back from their surgeries and, and injuries and just coming from high school to play here. Um, so they're excited to get going and – like you said, we got a lot of young guys, um, not a lot of experience in the staff, but a lot of promise. And uh, guys like Cowell, Dave, Shane, they look really good right now. So we're excited to see what they got, and we're confident they can help us win games. You guys open up two road series at Houston Baptist, at Long Beach State. Uh, two Southern teams, they've probably been outside a lot and, and things like that. What are the expectations going into those first two series? Is it just getting your feet kind of underneath you, get some time outside, or is it, hey, listen, it's their first games just like it's our first games. You know, we can, we can go out and get a couple wins. Yeah, well, we're definitely excited to get outside and get in some warm weather. Um, and we like being the underdog, you know. We like going down to Southern schools who have it great in the you know, sunny weather. Um, and kind of take us lightly, and then we want to jump on them, you know. Um, so we, we're just as confident as they are, and we want to take it to them. All right, well, best of luck this season, Jimmy, and uh, good luck. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. Be right back with Pat Gardner. Here with senior catcher Pat Gardner. Pat, one of the two co-captains on this team. What does it mean to be selected as a team co-captain for the 2017 season? Uh, you know, it means a lot. Uh, you know, getting picked by some of my best boys out here. But it's also a lot of work trying to find that line between leader and friend. But I'm looking forward to the season and leading the guys out on the field. This season, a lot of senior returners in this lineup, Kozik, Donatio, yourself, Luke Stamfel, Ryan Mahoney. Uh, what do you guys have to do uh, to be those senior leaders, to get, guide this? you got 13 newcomers on this team. What do you guys push most out of those young guys? I think we're just uh, focusing on consistency this year. Just uh, make sure it's a day-to-day -day grind. Let them know that you know, you're not going to have your best stuff every day, but as long as you stick with it and keep going, one of these days you'll get it. And once you get it, you just got to roll with it. Over the last couple of years, you've dealt with a lot of different arms uh, behind the plate, whether it is working with a guy in a bullpen or on the field. A lot of guys coming off injuries. You know, David Wright's back, Mike Cowell's back, Vladek's back. What does it mean to work with a couple of those guys as they're coming back or the freshman arms coming in versus, you know, a guy like Murphy who you've been around for four years? Yeah, well, I think it's a lot different this year. We're, uh, we're dealing with a lot of pitchers who are more uh, pitch-to-contact type guys as opposed to someone like Weiser or Sarapika who would stack up more strikeouts in A-10. So it's a little bit different of a philosophy. We're trying to attack with the fastball, and we just want to instill that in our freshman pitchers from the get-go. This season, start out on the road with a couple of series. Then there's a lot of home games in that mid-March uh, stretch uh, here at Hulaham Park. What do you got to do in those first three weekends to kind of set yourself up for that first real long home stretch uh, here in 2017? I think we just got to get our, you know, our philosophy down. Just those first three weeks, it's all about pitching, you know, finding your hot spot, just uh, up at the plate, just figuring out what you're doing, what you're attacking at the zone, just really getting a grip for the game. And once we come home, it's really, that's when it's go time. 
team was picked sixth in the preseason coaches poll. Uh, what does that do motivation-wise for you guys? You guys have been to the A-10 tournament each of the last three years. You're looking to go back to St. Louis at the end of the season. You know, what is this team looking forward to goal-wise? Well, I think it's the same thing every year. I mean, we've been picked lower than that. We've been picked 12th and 13th, but, you know, we always kept the same thing was get to A-10s and then just make a run once we get there. So I know we're looking to get at least 15 wins in conference and, and uh, get our bid, hopefully get finished at the top of the A-10, and then from there we'll just run with it. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Pat, and good luck this season. Thanks, Scotty. And that'll do it for our sneak peek at the 2017 Fordham baseball season. Fordham baseball team opens play this coming weekend at Houston Baptist. Three-game series Friday through Sunday. All games. You can check the live updates at Fordham Baseball on Twitter. There will also be live stand and live audio links on FordhamSports.com. For the Fordham Ram Roundup and the 2017 Fordham baseball preview, I'm Scott Kwiatkowski, and we'll see you next time.